Oh no! Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was just about to start vlogging and my milk is just overflowing, which is not good. Oh man, I don't want to clean that up. Um, I just really feel happy this morning and just like today's going to be a good day. And I feel like honestly, which is, I don't know if it's a sad thing or not, but I don't generally wake up and be like, you know what, today's a good day. You know, like, you just, I don't know, I don't anyway. So I thought I would film because I am feeling like happy this morning. So yes, to start the day, I'm making myself a coffee. Now I'm going for the Star Wars today because um, the two people in my team that I work with, they have today and Monday off. So I'm using Star Wars, so the force will be with me. Um, I have a meeting at nine, which is very soon. So yes, I have cleared all the emails, which normally three of us look after. So I've gotten rid of those this morning. Um, and I'm joining in on a different team meeting. So for our whole team, there's kind of like two parts to it, or three parts really. So I'm joining in with one of the other parts, just so I'm not by myself, because <laughs> I'm needy like that. Um, yeah, but this afternoon we're gonna do, um, we're gonna make a candle, which is very exciting. And I'm thinking of making cupcakes with like a chocolate cupcakes with a caramel center and doing some buttercream or something like that as Mother's Day gift. Um, to drop off seeing as you know, we can't really do much else can't really go out and buy anything um, So yes, anyway, I thought I'd start off the video by saying good morning and Today's a good day so far. We're at 20 past 11 now um, And this morning has been so so busy, which is really exciting because um with the whole COVID-19 and stuff like that, we're still in level three at the moment in New Zealand. Um, and potentially next week, obviously this video is going out way later, but potentially next week we may be moving into level two. Um, so in terms of work, that means that our stores will potentially, I don't really know yet, reopen for customers to come inside. So what I've been asked to create is a little animation or a video um, about physical distancing and um, because there's going to be people in stores and stuff like that and it's really really important that people physical distance not just customers but team members as well so i might be making or i'm pretty sure at this stage it's going to be an animation on um you know why we need to physical distance but like a a nice one not like a you need to do this blah 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 boring one like that um so at the moment we've done the script which is roughly going to be two minutes long when it's read out loud so it's nice short snap video um but animations they take forever to create so ideally we want to get it out as soon as possible i doubt today um but maybe monday but then i also have to add narration like the voiceover to it um but yes i'm excited i haven't done an animation in probably two years so it's a bit scary to go back into the animation software but i think it'll be quite fun and something different um so yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on. I thought I'd tell you that because animations are fun. Like who doesn't like animations? So I thought at least into, even if it's work talk, it's about an animation. So yes, I'm excited about that. Don't remember what I was gonna say, to be honest. Oh, one other thing that we made for Mother's Day is I think I briefly mentioned in a previous video about how we wanna start like making candles and stuff like that. Another thing we have also made two of so far for ourselves is diffusers. Um, and we've put them in the toilet basically. So we made a couple and we've boxed them up. So there's no branding or anything because we don't really have that right now, it's very new. Although we do have these little, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not, um, stickers, like little round ones, um, which has the logo on it. So I've used those to keep it shut and put in the fragrance on it. So this is a clean, oh, I don't know, it's kind of reflecting, but a clean linen one that we made for Steph and I really like the square jar with the wooden lid on it um, and then the reed sticks are just a normal wooden color as well. So we also got some white packaging as well to see how that looks and to be honest I think I like the black packaging but let me know in the comments below if you prefer the white or the black. I just think the black looks cleaner and it's also like the white boxes they get um well, this one doesn't have any marks on it, but they get marks on them easier. Um, but anyway, this is another one. This one is Sweet Pea and Jasmine. And I don't know if you can quite see in there. It's in a round jar with a silver lid this time. 
um, this was the original one we bought but then we wanted to buy the square ones to trial it and so yeah I think I prefer the square um, and then the last fragrance is Frangipani so that one is for my mum the clean linen one is for Steph and the other one is for Trav's mum so we made those which is so cool that we did them ourselves um, we've been playing out with different fragrances and stuff like that um, for the candles ordered some things I really want to I mean those fragrances are pretty standard but I really want to like mix fragrances together so they're like not custom but like fragrances we've put together rather than just like you know like clean linen frangipani like they're standard fragrances so one that um I thought would sound nice is there's a fragrance and it's like lime and mandarin and basil I think it is and I thought like adding like van uh, not vanilla like uh what's it called lavender to that would be quite nice so we bought the different fragrances we need and I was kind of like wafting them the other night and they smell so good so maybe we'll make that tonight as well um, but the one we are making tonight is for Kerry um, sister-in-law because it was her birthday recently and we're gonna make her a mocha candle with a wood wick so it makes a little crackling noise when it burns which is so like it's just nice like that slight little crackle that it makes like a fireplace crackle but a lot quieter obviously and the mochaccino fragrance oh so good um so yes anyway that's that's more on the candle that we're going to be doing a little bit on the diffusers which is just so much fun i really enjoy it um but yeah we're very like early early stages the other day we were looking at um taxes and oh my gosh <laughs> it's ridiculous so you have your business tax which is 28 percent and then there's also gst which is 15 percent and it's just like by the time you have to pay for the i mean obviously this comes out of the tax but anyway most of you probably don't care about taxes but you really have to <laughs> put your prices high if you want to make any money because the amount that you have to pay back in tax is huge so Yes, yeah, so we've been looking at that in terms of how much does it cost to buy everything and make it, the time it takes, the tax we'd have to pay, um, and all that kind of thing to kind of figure out like a good price range and also pricing in the market. What are other people charging for some of the products? It takes up a lot of time. So yeah, there's a lot to learn, a diff even different um, company structures, like well, not company structures, different ways you can go into business, like sole trader versus limited liability and partnerships and all that kind of stuff so yes it's it's quite exciting and I wish that there was I mean there probably is I just don't know like a course like a one-day crash course that you can take to learn all this kind of stuff I think that would be really good I'm pretty good at figuring shit out on my own but yeah I think that would be like super helpful so if anyone knows of any like one-day courses you can do or any online things you can sign up to specifically for New Zealand like very small businesses that would be awesome yeah so that's a little update um I'm going to do a little bit more work and then have some lunch I'm already back with another update well it's an update for me but basically um we've just been asked to put into a like a register roster type thing of working from home versus in the office so for the rest of May we're going to be working from home um, and only go into the office if we need to I think we can go if we want to but the preference is that stay home um, and then June we're also they're going to see um, to work three days from work and two days from home so I've just put in my preferences so I've put in to be at work in the office on Mondays and Tuesdays because I think it'll be nice to start the week start start the week at work um and then work from home the wednesday and thursday and then back on a friday um i feel like most people will want to have the mondays and fridays from home but i almost feel like i'll be way more productive if i start the week at work and end the last day at work but we'll see we'll see what happens so this is basically until the end of june which is crazy obviously so much can happen in this time frame but yeah like to think back to the middle of March where this was all like really kicking off and it's going till the end of June like it's a bit strange it's very strange times which I feel like I've said many times in these videos but yeah just doing what we can so it's gonna be interesting that's for sure um I don't know if I ever mentioned in these videos 
but we bought um a mini baby fire pit like a tall standing one and four outdoor chairs and the collection was for Thursday, the day we went into lockdown, so obviously I couldn't get it. So I'm hoping if we go to level two next week, we can go pick them up um, because I think it will be so nice to have a little like a fire pit outside and do some marshmallows on it. So I'm very excited for that. So we shall wait and see. But yes, man, this thing has gone way longer than I think anyone would have expected. Like anyone who's not in that kind of epidemic response health stuff that knows more about it. Um, strange times, but it's just proven how well people can, or people that can work from home, can work from home. Like, the internet has been really good, at least at our place anyway. Um, I mean, I've always known that I can work from home. That's never been an issue, but, yeah, to work from home every day <laughs> is a bit different than just, like, a couple days here and there. Um, yeah, there's definitely positives and negatives to it, so... I feel like all I'm doing is filming from this one spot but it's now 4 30 or 4 32 it is time to finish and I was literally just shutting down my laptop and I realized that that means it's the weekend it's Friday it's not just another day so I need to put this away and this because it just takes up too much like the whole dining room table basically so going to put that away so it's gone for the weekend um Trav and I normally go for a walk at 4 30 so we'll probably head out and do that shortly um, I think we're going to go for a walk somewhere else today. I think we're actually just going to walk to the dairy instead and get ourselves a Friday treat. Um, yeah, it's such a nice day today. It's been sunny all day. We've had really bad weather lately, like pouring with rain, but still sunny, which is nice, but very um, cool outside. We'll also have a little squiggles here. Hi, miss. And then we also have a flashing camera battery, so I'll probably charge this while we're out going for our walk. It's a little while later. It's actually one minute to six, and we've been for our walk. We went to the dairy. Five. What time did you think it was? I thought it was like seven. No. <laughs> we keep thinking it's way later than what it is, but I think it's because we finish work and then we're at home. And, and I know with I, well. that's true. It has been daylight savings. I know we've been home for like almost two months, but it's still strange, you know? <laughs> anyway, we're having some dinner now. We're having pork chops with salad. So Trav actually cooked them up on the barbecue and look how massive they are. They're so good, but we're so hungry. Also have some applesauce, if that's gonna focus. And then, oh, yum, from the dairy and got some drinks too and yeah i'm very excited are you waiting for me to move yeah are you being polite yep he wants cutlery Yee. it's the next day now which means it's saturday which is very very exciting because that means we're not working um i honestly don't remember where i stopped filming yesterday so we're just gonna start the day fresh um we're having some breakfast it is 10 to 12, but it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna have some spaghetti and sausages on toast with some eggs that are just frying at the moment. And we've got a little squiggles, squiggles. You've eaten today already. What are you doing? How much did they get this morning? Yeah, half a cup. <gasps> squiggles, you're not supposed to get any more food till 4.30. What I'm doing now though is getting rid of the rest of our bread. Um, we keep the bread in the fridge and it's been on the top shelf. Oh, come out. Oh, there we go. You couldn't see what it's doing. But this one is like a little bit soggy, so, and the other bits. So we're just gonna, oh, look at that. It's even got a hole in it because it's just like attached itself to the other piece. So we're gonna feed the birds. And by feed the birds, I mean just chuck the bread. Oh, we've got another little thing coming up. And squiggles. You're gonna go eat the bread, Squiggles. You're gonna go eat the bread. Hello. Hi. She's like, what's that? Yum, looks so good. And water. Gotta stay hydrated with my huge ass bottle. <laughs> Thank you. Trav basically made That's everything. Right. I put the bread in the toaster, but I didn't put basically it down. <laughs> basically, you know. I actually put the bread literally right next to the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> he took the bread out right next to the toaster, put it in the toaster, and didn't even push it down. 
it wasn't ready to go down. I went to feed the birds the bread, and by the time I got back, he put it down. So it's not my I fault. Put it down just about as soon as you left. To hey, 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 hey. I was saying thank you here, and now you're just ripping into me. What is this bullshit? <laughs> We've had our breakfast, and now we're going to make the candle. I think I spoke about candles yesterday, which is still in this vlog. So we're going to be making a um, mocha flavored candle in a black jar with a black lid in the woodwork. Um, which is going to be nice. We're also going to make a caramel latte flavoured one. And then, yeah, the one I said was right. We want to do like a lime, basil, mandarin and lavender like combo one. Um, which I think is going to be really nice. These are all the ones like we've bought to like test and trial with over the time. So, yeah, it's definitely a process to get things set up and figure out fragrances and stuff like that. And costs money, but... It's exciting and it's fun. So, yeah, we're going to make some candles. These are the um, the white jars. So we've got the black and the white. I think we might phase out the black, even though they're nice. But so far, the white has definitely been the most popular. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of trial and error. We got these boxes down there with candle stuff in it and all that jazz. So we're going to get into it. Got our mixing spoon. Um. Yeah. Alright guys, first candle has been poured, so we shall show you um, when it's done. We're going to make two more candles now, and then I think that's it for today. So the next two that we're making are our trial ones, where we're kind of mixing fragrance levels and stuff together. So, yes, I'm excited to see how they smell. So it's been a few hours now. Um, what else have we done? So we finished off the candles, they're just like setting at the moment. Um, I've edited a video and uploaded that for it this evening because I want to keep getting videos up daily so I can catch up. Because at the moment, the videos that are going up, it's still level 4 lockdown. And that was two weeks ago. So, <laughs> sorry if that's confusing some people. Um, but anyway, Trav went and cleared all the gutters out. I put some washing on. It's just um, finishing off now. I am really hungry because we haven't had lunch. But... It's 10 to 4 and Tarina and Yinsung are coming around around 4-ish so I might just wait and then maybe we'll get some snacks and stuff. I don't know if I mentioned actually they're coming around tonight to hang out so I don't know how much I'll film um, but one thing I do want to do is some baking so I think I mentioned yesterday that I was going to do the cupcakes and stuff but I figured that's quite hard to drop off to people so we might do or I might make some like muffins instead or banana bread and wrap it in baking paper and like tie it with a little bit of um string or something so that way we can just like drop it off um yeah i'm not sure what else is going to happen before they get here probably not much so the next time i pick up the camera Tarina and Yinsung will probably be here and we're going to play board games again cluedo i hope anyway i'm just assuming cluedo i haven't even put it away from last weekend um and some cards the shithead game which is really fun Tarina said she wants to play some of that which is cool um yeah so it'll be nice to hang out with our bubble buddies and i'm really hoping that this coming week on wednesday we'll go into level two so the announcement will happen on monday um and I've heard through the grapevine that it's potentially going to be level two on Wednesday. But you never know. The government could be like, nope, another week or two weeks or whatever. But I'm hoping for a level two next week. I think that will be quite nice. And yeah. All right, I lied. I'm back again. One thing I want to quickly mention is this Pure Fiji Hydrating Body Mist in Starfruit Infusion. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Trav and I bought this when we were in Fiji from the airport actually when we were leaving like four or five years ago um, to use up the rest of our Fijian money. And it's one of those things that we've kept and just used every now and again but barely pulled out. Like, I don't know if you can see, there's still so much left in there. Um, and I have just been like carrying this around for the last week and every now and again I'll spray it. And even just one spray on your clothes, it just, uh, it's like you're in a tropical place. And because it's so sunny as well, it just is so nice. I know we're in autumn, but oh my gosh, I can even smell it without opening it. So, so yummy. If you ever see a pure Fiji product, please pick it up and smell it because it smells like Fiji. It's so good. Um, Yeah, I just wanted to mention that because oh, it's incredible. Um, 
it actually makes me want to go back and watch the vlogs because we were vlogging then and that's like four or five years ago we have the vlogs of when we were like so little I think that was oh my gosh maybe it was six years ago did we go there for our four year anniversary or our five year it might have been four and we're at 10 years now so damn okay that's a very long time ago but all those vlogs exist I don't know if they're in a playlist or not but if I remember I'll find the first video of going to Fiji and I'll link it below and then you can find the other ones if you want to watch them um or I'll link them who knows who knows what I've <laughs> whether I'll be too lazy to link them <laughs> but Oh, we were so young then when we went to Fiji. That was our first ever overseas trip together. So I'm so glad we have it all filmed. Like, I obviously remember most of it. But when you go back and watch vlogs, you're like, oh, that's right. And oh, like, we had that meal and we did that. And Fiji was the first place I had my first ever massage. Like, it just brings back all the memories. And I think as well, because I've watched the vlogs before, that helps remind me, like, what it was like. So, yeah, I think that's one of the things I love about filming everything is that like you can go back and watch it how cool is that i've been editing a video and all of a sudden it's like files are missing so i think i've managed to relink them but why did it do that there we go they're all back right while we wait for trina and yinsai i'm gonna start on making a banana bread these are the bananas very ripe and they smell like perfect for baking so yeah gonna start that and I think it's gonna be nice i actually think we have some walnuts did you know that i'm just gonna pop you there do we have walnuts we do this is from a did i buy them i must have bought these oh well we've had them for ages anyway oh best before january that's fine they're walnuts they're nuts they'll do <laughs> where are we going trav we're going to Burger King. Woo, we're going to Burger King. We're in the car with Trina and Yinsung. Hey all. Yay. Trina's writing a list of all our stuff so that way Yinsung can order it all together. Oh, yep, there's yep. the list. I don't know if you can you see that. Um, and we're also going to go to the supermarket right. and get some snacks. So, yes, I'm very excited. The banana bread just came out the oven and it looks really good, smells really good. So we can have that for some dessert. The song's almost done. Damn. <laughs> right, we have had our Burger King. It was very nice. We did have to send Yunsan back because they forgot half our food. Um, but we're going to play some shithead. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so good at this game. Yeah. <laughs> um, my banana bread turned yeah. out very nicely. Oh, yeah. It's been cooling. Yum. And I'm having some water. What you doing? Dancing. Guys, Trav dealt this out the cards. This was an eight. And it he like ended up with two tens. And that was I don't like know if you watched the video about how shithead works, but I'm pretty happy with mine. How it was. Trina's got a ten too. Woo! Yeah, I'm, 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 yep. She's like, sure. <laughs> We're leaving this out. It's got the little rule things on it. Ooh! 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 That's it. Okay. Men What's that guy's name? Joe Malone? Jora. Jora. Jora Malone. Jora Malone. Jora Malone. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Based on that, because Ace... Oh, right, we have moved on from no, ship here and we played a game of Cluedo. Oh, yeah. We're now playing Texas Holder Poker. Yeah, Trina's so. playing for the first time. Even though... How's oh, it going so yeah, far? Did you have two pairs? Yeah. Oh, oh she has okay, two pairs. She won. Yeah. Yeah. She does won again. <laughs> Nice. I didn't know that. that Serena has never as, played like, this yeah, before. Yeah. And the she's winning all the lollies. <laughs> I'm winning oh, yeah. lollies. <laughs> yeah, we basically said every time oh, yeah. she wins around, she gets a lolly. <laughs> she doesn't have them yet, she's claiming them later. Like, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I've won like. Yeah. Yeah. You've won the most. Holy. Look at Serena's <laughs> money. <laughs> oh, chips. And then look at mine. Look at your side. I know. took all of mine, that's why. Well done, Serena. Alright, it's 2.31 a.m. We're gonna go, we finished playing poker. It was really fun. I won. I did! Don't laugh! Um oh shit. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out Trina's channel. Yay! Because she uploads sometimes. Actually, she uploaded for like every day in lockdown level four, which is crazy. 
and she's got more footage coming out when? You've told this? Sometimes. Yeah, we're a bit the same, really. Guys, it's so early in the morning. I can't think anymore. Yeah. It literally is like 2.32 now. To be fair, this we're really tired. Like we left their house at about this time last weekend as well. Yeah, it's true. We're all, well, not all of us actually. Some of us are night owls, so we're okay. I'm actually really tired though. Yeah. Surprisingly. So I'm gonna go to bed. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, it's Mother's Day. Happy oh, Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.